Grand Tours are supposed to be fast, roomy, comfortable, and very cool. But what if you want more speed, more agility, more style, and a really cool name? You have to have the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. The DBS is based on the DB11, just like the Vanquish was based on the DB9. But there are a number of differences in the way it drives. For a start, there's more power. The 5.2 liter twin turbo V12 packs 715 horsepower, which is plenty. But this car handles really, really well. I'm in the, the comfortable GT touring mode right now, and it still feels poised. There's not a lot of body roll. It's handling these switchback turns with grace. But if I turn it into the firmer mode, we're in Sport Plus now, it's much stiffer. It's much more poised and I can carry a lot more speed into turns. But even in this hardcore, tough mode, it, the ride is still comfortable. You're not bothered by it. This is a very, very comfortable car befitting of the GT label. I do love the steering in this car. It's, it's just heavy enough for a GT that at speed, you're not making constant little adjustments. But in the turns, it's pliable, it's predictable, it's very, very linear. There's plenty of feedback, way more than I expected in a GT car. It feels like a sports car, but it's not busy. It's not difficult. It's very, very manageable. The eight-speed automatic is, as you can imagine, great. There's not much shift shock. Shifts are very, very quick. And around town, there aren't any histrionics. It is a little bit slow to engage and it hunts for gear sometimes, but that's nothing that can't be solved by just kicking it into manual mode, which is what we've been driving around in for most of the day. The paddles are column mounted as they should be. I don't care what anyone says, column mounted is the way to go. But one of the things I'm not crazy about is it's a little bit too easy to get the tail to step out. And I'm not gonna do it now because this is a $300,000 car and I'm on a road I don't know in a country where I don't speak the language. But if you jump on the throttle really hard in second gear, say, you can feel the back end kind of want to squiggle and there's not as much high speed stability as we would necessarily like in a GT. At 120 miles an hour, you can kind of feel the Aston moving around. It's, it's somewhat disconcerting even in the softer suspension mode. But if you're willing to just kind of ignore that and, and deal with its foibles, it's hilariously quick, very, very cool, and a hell of a lot of fun to drive. Now, if you just can come up with $305,000 to buy one, you can experience it. Prices for the DBS Superleggera start at $305,000, which is a lot of money when you're also looking at Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and now Rolls Royces. But if you want the ultimate sporty GT experience from a British brand, this is the vehicle you have to go with.